good morning students i hope that you all are doing well dear students in our today's lesson we will learn remedial english and in remedial english i'll teach you present continuous tense with examples that will help you to fully understand so let's begin to learn students i hope a question is arising in your minds that what is present continuous tense so students present continuous tense is also called present progressive present continuous tense is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now students in simple words an action which is continue in present time is called present continuous tense for example you are learning english so here is a subject you and we used after it helping verb after helping verb we have used here learn plus ing form means fourth form of verb and after that we have used object students if you have noticed the sentence so we have used a structure to make the sentence so let's learn what is the structure to make present continuous tense it is formed using am is are plus present participle means fourth form of verb or ing form like first we will use subject then is either am or are after that we will put fourth form of verb then object students basically is am are are called helping verbs we use these helping verbs is am are with different subject like am is used with the subject i are is used with the subject you we they and with plural nouns and the helping verb is is used with she he it and singular nouns so students i hope you have got to form a sentence of present continuous tense so let's make a sentence so here is a sentence i am reading this book so students as i have told you that i is a subject and we have used am with this subject and the reading is the ing form of the verb and after that we have used object that is this book okay so i am reading this book this is an affirmative sentence and if we want to convert this sentence into negative sentence so we will write like this i am not reading this book we have put not after helping verb okay students and if we want to convert this same sentence into interrogative we will write like this am i reading this book students if you have noticed the sentence so we have put am in the beginning of the sentence and the rest of the sentence remained same students let's try to convert the same sentence into interrogative plus negative so i will write like this am i not reading this book so students i have put am in the beginning of the sentence then subject after that i have put here not then verbs fourth form means ing form and after that i have put here object and yes students don't forget to put question marks in interrogative and inter plus negative sentences students let's see some more examples example number 1 you are learning english you are not swimming now are you sleeping i am sitting i am not standing is he sitting or standing they are reading their books they are not watching television what are you doing okay students so i hope you have understood so students this was all about today's lecture and in today's lecture we have learned present continuous tense i shall come back with a new lecture till then allah hafiz and take care